This next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the pattern function. Uh, with this object here, I'm going to draw up the buttons on a calculator to show you how we can do this the simplest way using the pattern function. So what you're going to start off with is we're going to sketch onto the face of this object. Um, you can sketch onto two different things. You can sketch onto a plane or you can sketch onto a surface. With this one, we want to sketch onto the surface. So we'll click sketch. Now it's asking us what we want to sketch onto. And I'm going to hover over that face there, that surface, and sketch. Okay, so we're going to start off with just drawing a basic button on a calculator. So we're just going to use a rectangle. Let's go somewhere down the bottom. Okay, and let's tidy this up a little bit with some dimensions here. Let's make that 25. <coughs> okay, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is... Click OK. So now we have a base, we just have the, the sketch there. We're going to create an extrusion off that. So click Extrude. OK, it will default to a random height. That's 90.69. So let's change that. Let's see. A little bit small. Let's make that maybe 6. OK, happy with that. And click OK. So let's tidy this button up a little bit. We'll put some rounds on it. So select round. Holding down your shift key. And accept that. So now here's where we use our pattern function. Now if I click basically on the pattern, I can't select anything, a pattern or a geometry. What I need to do is I need to select the object that I want to pattern first. Now you can do that by simply clicking on the model. The only thing is, if you just click on the model, you may not include all of the features. If you don't have all of the features highlighted, they won't be patterned. The best way to go is to find it in the model tree. So that extrusion, that's highlighted that, and I also want the round, so hold shift and click on that. That will highlight both of those because I want them all patterned. So now we can go pattern, geometry pattern, and now it's going to ask us a few different things. First off, we have this drop down. We, we have a number of different options. Direction, axis, fill, table, curve, point. We want that to be a direction. Okay, we're going to have two different directions. The first one, so let's select the direction that we want this button to be patterned. So select one item, and what I'm going to do is hover that around. I want it going this way. I want, I want a, a row of buttons going this way. So select that face, and now you can see it's thrown in another button there. We, we want more. So if I click up here, I can change that 2 to a 4, and now you can see that it's put 4 buttons in there. I can click and drag that box and change those, the distance between them, okay? Or I can do it up here. Okay, so we've got one direction of buttons. We want another one here, so it's giving us an option for a second, so click Click here to add the second, then I want them going up. So if I toggle that around, select that face. Now I have another row. I can add in, change that up the top to four. And we can stretch them out manually. So let's make that 45. Might change that one there to... 40, not quite, okay, once you're happy with what you have, 
select OK. And you can see there that that has patterned all those buttons. OK. So that is the pattern feature for a direction.